Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. I am coming to you all with my Teddy Bees pre-order. It's very exciting. I know a lot of you guys are super excited for your orders as well. Teddy Bees pre-orders are one of the most exciting because you can't get her wax as often and we all love her wax. So I haven't even opened it. I literally just opened the box right this second. Um, this is my second time doing the introduction because my fiance called me from downstairs. Um, so let's see if we can get through this without any interruptions, any more interruptions at least. Um, yeah, so let's hop right in. I'm not really gonna try to do a long introduction because I know you guys are just really interested in to see what I got. I haven't watched any videos yet as far as the Teddy Bees pre-order. Um, but I'm starting to see more and more pop up on my YouTube and I see them all over the Facebook page and um, it's just super exciting. <laughs> so first and foremost, um, she does have like bubble wrap on, oops, just bubble wrap on the top and then a bunch of the paper frill, frilly, squiggly papers. And then she has a thank you card here. It's really pretty. Um, this has her website, her Facebook group, and a little cute art code that you can just scan. And then she also has some wax melting tips on the back. So she, she talks about cure time, the type of warmers to use, um, placement, less is more, and changing your scent. So, um, just an FYI, she does her favorite warmers to use for her, with her wax are 17 to 25 watt hot plate warmers or 25 watt halogen warmers. I love using hot plate warmers. They're the hottest warmers you can use and um, they just throw wax. They throw the scent really well. I have a mix of halogen and um, hot plate. During the holidays, a lot of the warmers are more like halogen type because they have like, they usually have like pretty reflections and stuff with the light bulbs. But during the, like the year with my plain regular warmers, they're pretty much all hot plate. So yeah, just preference. The halogen are, they seem to be more pretty with the reflection on the walls and stuff, but I don't know. All right, so my order is honestly not that big. I didn't want to spend too much money. Um, I've been trying to not spend a lot all at once. Um, but with the RTS, I probably will get a few things here and there that I wanted to get in the pre-order. I might pick up in the RTS since I didn't want to, I don't like to spend a lot all at once. So it's nice to kind of smell and see if I want to get more of what I got in the pre-order in the RTS. So we'll see, and um, I'm gonna go through the list, you know, and see if there are any other things that I would like to try during the RTS, but yeah. I have so much Teddy Bees wax. I know we're all in the same boat here. All right, so the first souffle here that I got is the Perfect Storm. This is a repeat buy. I really love this one. This is sea spray, ocean water, citrus, damp leaves, dark amber, and oak moss. So I like to do this one in my bedroom. It's just, you get the oak moss, the leaves, the dark amber. I don't really get a lot of citrus. Maybe a slight hint of it, but I get that sea spray and ocean water. It's a clean scent, but there's more to it with the, it's, it's a little more dark and deep and you get that oak moss. It's just, you get the amber. It's just like a deeper fresh scent. Um, I love it. <laughs> Okay, we have Modern Farmhouse. I've never tried this before, but I've always seen people talking about it and requesting it. It is Tonka and Oud, Vanilla Birch, and Egyptian Amber. So I love all those type of scent notes. Um, I've been really loving like the 
more earthy scent notes and this kind of seems earthy. Oh yeah, this smells like fresh, like you're walking into like a freshly made, freshly built cabin. That's what it's like to me. And I love that. Okay, yeah, I'm getting the amber, the Tonka and Oud. The Tonka and Oud gives me like that fresh woodsy note. There's not a lot of depth to it. I feel like it's kind of just what I'm smelling on cold. I could be wrong. But yeah, it's like, I'm getting everything that's in the notes. It's really nice. It's pretty tame, I would say. It's not like it's ridiculously strong or overly woodsy or overly earthy it's honestly like a really tame like a it's like a you're walking into a freshly built cabin and they have like an amber incense or like you know what i mean like it's it's honestly like really nice like a vanilla amber incense going it's really nice it's almost like a scent i would like to melt like just as kind of like i don't know what else to melt if that makes any sense i don't want fruity i don't want um spicy like just kind of one of those in-between scents next we have pumpkin woods this is pumpkin spice, sandalwood, patchouli, tobacco, palo santo, cold winter woods. So I'm not a big tobacco person in wax. I mean, in general, like I just don't enjoy the scent of tobacco. Um, but with that sandalwood and patchouli and palo and woods, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. So first and foremost, I'm getting the pumpkin spice. But wow, am I getting the patchouli, the sandalwood, the palo, the woods. I am getting a little tobacco, but it that blend is so good so far. On cold, this is awesome. I really like that one a lot. That one is very, very awesome. I've never smelled something like that before. Sugared chestnuts and apple butter. This is apple butter brown sugar, toasted chestnuts, clove, and notes of spice. Ooh, that is good. Oh my gosh. That is so yummy. So I get that apple butter, clove, some spice, like some cinnamon, I would say. But there's some sweetness in there from that brown sugar and the apple butter. Oh, that's so good. Sorry, my fiance is calling my name. I see him out the window. He caught a fish. <laughs> it just broke his line. <laughs> we have a canal in our backyard and he caught a freaking fish, but it broke the line. It was a big fish. It was a big fishy fish, like this one. Okay. Anyways. Okay. 
The next one here is Holiday. This is the scent of wreaths, wreaths hanging, cookies baking, winter garland, and a warm fireplace. So this is another one that people are always requesting. So. Hmm. This is good. Yeah. This is like definitely a Christmassy scent. I get the wreaths, like that wreath type scent, the winter garland. I am getting a bit of like a tree. It's probably like the garland. Yeah, like a tree, like a sharp tree eucalyptus -y scent. Pine. I don't get a lot of cookies, but I bet that's gonna come out and warm. That is really nice. It's not like, there's no spice in it. I get like tree, um, the wreath, garland type scent. So this, I know I'm gonna really like, I really like this type of scents around, you know, Christmas time. We have Old Country Store. This is Sweet Peach Preserves, Hot Apple Pies, Warm Cinnamon, and a Slight Hint of Pine. So typically I don't like peach, but there was, I think people were talking about it in the, in the Facebook group saying that it was good. So I'm really hoping it's really good. Let's see. So I get cinnamon right off the bat. It's pretty heavy on the cinnamon. Yeah, it's really heavy on cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, I wouldn't even try it out. Very, very, very cinnamon heavy. Like that's all I'm getting. Very red hot cinnamon. Between the warm cinnamon and the hot apple pie, that's all I'm getting. Yeah, it's very, very, very cinnamon heavy. I'm not even getting a hint of pine or hints of peach. So definitely all of these are gonna sit for a while. Morning cup of Christmas. This is vanilla chai, cranberry chutney, apple marmalade, and a hint of fresh pine. I thought this one sounded so good with the chai and the cranberry and the apple. Oh, that is really nice. So I get the pine. Oh, the cranberry chutney is sweet. I like this one a lot. Yeah, the cranberry and the apple is it's very nice. With that pine, not getting a lot of chai, but it's really nice. It's like a little sweet, a little tree. I really like that one. I like tree mixed with like cranberry, orange, like winter fruits. I like tree mixed with that. Alrighty, into some tubs. I got four tubs. Do I have a sample? I will say, I haven't been too lucky with samples recently. Not with teddy bees, but I didn't get a sample with one of my other orders from another vendor. Um, I didn't get a sample. Huh. That is so weird. Did, did other people not get samples? I wanna know. I really always love getting samples and I always get samples from Teddy V's. So, hmm, I don't know. That was my camera. I love getting samples because then that sometimes leads to me buying from the RTS. That is quite odd. I mean, there's so much of this paper but I don't think there's a sample in here no there's not a sample 
Is it cause my order was small? I don't know, anyways. Here, this, well, this tub is called Cider Cookies. This is apples, cake, donut, cinnamon, caramel, and sugar cookies. I wasn't gonna get a tub of this, but some people were saying that it was like a tub worthy you had to. Ooh, that is good. It's like sweet. Yeah, that's sweet apple cookies. It's a little light, but that's sitting for a while. That is really nice. John Snow, this is a repurchase. This is Palo Santo flannel sheets, creamy vanilla and mint. Oh my gosh, this is such a good one. If you even think for a second that you like those scent notes, you have to try this. It's so unique. The scent notes are unique, but this is such a unique smelling scent mix blend. It's so good. It gives me almost like a shaving cream scent note. I think it's the creamy vanilla and mint. But y'all, it's so good. When I do this, I do this mainly in my bedroom. Like, that's just about it. Look how pretty. Um, I do this in my bedroom, and it just makes me so happy. It's cozy. It's happy. It's fresh. It's clean. I mean, the flannel sheets, I don't even get laundry in this. Like, this is not a laundry scent. It's Palo. It's vanilla. But the Palo isn't strong in this either. It's not, like, woodsy. It's just so good. It's not minty either. Like it's not like peppermint. It's not, I don't even know how to explain it. Like I honestly don't. It's, you wouldn't even like reading these scent notes, you'd be like, no, like there, there's not, that's not in there, but it's so nice. Like I highly recommend that if you like any sort of like fresh scents. It's not even like a fresh laundry. I don't want anybody to ever like think that, but if you like, like if you're offended by clean, fresh, any type of those scents, I wouldn't try it. But like if you're, if you like those type of scents, just to kind of clear out the air and like, or you like them specifically for like your laundry room or something, highly recommend Jon Snow. Okay, we got Mr. Claus. I've never tried this one. This is Cranberry Woods, a Bath and Body Works type, Frosted Circa Sugar Cookies, and Palo Santo. So I know that this one is quite popular. Um, Danny Cormani on YouTube and Facebook loves this one. And I love her taste in wax. So I had to try it and I love it so much. The cranberry chutney, I mean, sorry, the cranberry woods is so good. Oh my gosh. And the circus sugar cookies gives a nice sweetness. So it's like a cranberry cookie. The Palo isn't strong in this either. I can't get this one out. But I really like the cranberry in that one. Oh, that's good. Last but not least, we got Sugar Spice and Fireside. This is, girl, you cannot eat those. This is The Smell of Sticker Doodles and Oatmeal Cookies Baking in a Wood Fire Oven. Love Snicker Doodle, love oatmeal cookies. In real life and in wax, but I was like, that sounds amazing. Whoa. Wow, so you get that wood fire oven scent. Oh my God. If you don't like wood fire scents, I wouldn't try it because it's quite strong in that. But you get the oatmeal cookies and snickerdoodle, you get like that cinnamon cookie. 
yeah oh my gosh if you don't like spices and you don't like that wood fire I wouldn't try it but this is really really nice I'm so glad I got this in a tub so that is everything that I got from the Teddy Bees pre-order kind of bummed I didn't get a sample I don't know what's been going on recently I just have not been lucky in the sense that I have not been getting samples I don't really understand why um, I don't know. Maybe she didn't give samples, but I could have swore I saw a Facebook post where someone showed their order and they got two samples. So I don't know. I don't know. But either way, I'm really happy with my order. And I'm probably going to order from the RTS. I don't know what yet, but we'll see. And yeah. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend. It is Sunday right now. Um, next week is Thanksgiving, so I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving, and I'm actually going to film a video right after this, so I'd love to see you guys in my next video. It's going to be a pharmacist's daughter um, haul, so yeah, if you would like to see what I got from there, please join me in the next video. You'll probably, if you just click on my page, you'll see it there. Um, but if not, then I hope you guys have a great week coming up.